Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome back to another unboxing hands-on video. Today I present you with the Bold N1. Now, Bold is a subdivision of Blue and Blue has been making some very affordable smartphones for the past several years. They're based out of Miami and they actually produce some very nice devices with some pretty good specifications. Now with the Bold N1 here, you're getting some very impressive specifications for the price. And to the back of the box, you get this nice holographic design with these specifications. So you're getting a 6.4 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED all screen display, Corning Gorilla Glass 5, a MediaTek Helio P70, that's an octa-core processor clocked at 2.1 gigahertz, 64-bit with AI technology, 128 gigabytes of internal memory, 4 gigabytes of RAM. You get the dual AI camera setup here with a 16 plus a 5 megapixel depth sensor camera. You get a 96 megapixel super zoom option as well. 13 megapixel pop-up selfie camera, in-display fingerprint sensor, micro SD card expansion up to 128 gigs, 3500 milliamp hour battery, 18 watt ultra quick, plus wireless charging capabilities, Android 9 Pi. Again, some very excellent specifications, especially for the price. So let me go ahead and open up the box here and share with you all the contents that are included. So taking off the front portion of the box, you got the Bold N1 package right there on top. Now, when it comes to the price of the Bold N1, it is retailing for $250 right now off of Amazon. Now, I picked it up off of Bold's website on the launch date for the $200, but I just went on Bold's website and they're still offering it for the $200. So that's $50 cheaper than Amazon. So definitely jump on that deal on Bold's website to save $50 and pick up this amazing phone for $200. Now included in the box is going to be your 18 watt ultra quick charging wall brick. As you can see, you got Bold branding to the front there. Also included in the box is going to be a set of headphones, which is pretty awesome. You don't see a lot of companies providing this in the box, but Bold is setting you up with some headphones. And of course, you got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on this device. Also included in the box is this really nice metallic colored type c data cable so you definitely got type c charging on the bold n1 and also included is the tool there to get access to your sim card tray and then you're also getting a bold sticker included in the box as well as the dual sim installation guide as well as a quick reference guide for your bolt n1 now you're also getting a bonus here in the box which is a clear protective case i think that's absolutely amazing that bolt is including this in the purchase so you get protection right out of the box for your bold n1 so not only are you getting the case, but Bold did include a tempered glass screen protector, which is pretty awesome. Again, some amazing value for the $200, $250 you're getting for this device. So and taking a look at the star of the show here, the Bold N1, you got this pre-installed screen protector and to the bottom there, it does say in-display fingerprint sensor, which I'm definitely going to test out in this video. But first, let me give you a tour around the device. To the right-hand side, you got your volume rockers and beneath the volume rockers is going to be your power button. And up on top, you do have an antenna line. To the bottom, you get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, your microphone, Type-C charging port, and a single down firing speaker and taking a look at the left hand side it's going to be the tray there which is going to house your two sim cards or a single sim card and a micro sd card and up on top is going to be your noise cancellation mic and your 13 megapixel pop-up selfie camera which i'll definitely test out in this video as well and to the back of the bold n1 you got this pre-installed sticker which i'll go ahead and remove and as you can see to the back you get your dual camera setup your led flash bold branding to the bottom there you're also going to get this sand blasted metal rails going along the top bottom and sides and you get a glass back design to this device so very premium this color is actually called raven black and i also like how the light reflects off that glass back panel looks really nice let me go ahead and power on the bold n1 here see if we got some juice and yes we do removing the pre-installed screen protector as you can see bold powered by android so i'm going to go ahead and get this device all set up go through the setup process and go ahead and give you some more detailed hands-on on what the bold n1 has to offer so i'll be right back in just a moment 
All right, so I got the device all set up, ready to go. The first thing I want to talk about is this display. This is a really beautiful looking display. It's AMOLED. It's 6.4 inches. It's 2340 by 1080 resolution. Take a look up on top. As you can see, you get that cutout to the top for your earpiece. Some pretty slim bezels going along the top and the sides. Getting a 92% screen to body ratio. Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on this. And to the bottom there, you get a little bit of a chin but overall i love the way this display looks no cutout no notch blue did an excellent job here navigating to the side there as you can see that is going to get you into your google feed mine's not set up but you got that available you also got your google folder there as well as some additional pre-installed applications now let's go ahead and long press on the display that gets you into wallpapers so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these pre-installed wallpapers that you got available and all of them seem to be looking very nice bright colorful has nice punchy colors again you're getting a really nice 6.4 inch full hd plus amoled display so this is going to be a really nice 1080p panel with about 403 pixels per inch so all the wallpapers look great all right so let's see what else we got here so it looks like that's pretty much it for the home screen sliding up gets you into your app drawer if you want to get out just slide down so swiping up to the app drawer as you can see there these are all the pre-installed applications that's it that's all you have there no bloatware no carrier applications whatsoever you can also search for apps and this is a good time for me to share with you the keyboard which is gboard which is an excellent keyboard very customizable some great features as you can see those are some of the emojis that you get with this keyboard just in case you weren't familiar with gboard and the different emojis and you got different options to choose from as well so let's back up out of there and exiting out of the app drawer swiping down on the display is going to bring down your notification panel with all your quick toggles for instance you got quick access to your flashlight here if you need to activate that you also got your uh, wi-fi bluetooth you also get quick access to your calculator if you need to gain access to that just right away let's see what else you got here so you got your alarm camera you also got a screen record screenshot option uh, this is pretty cool. I don't see this very often. As you can see, you can move that around. And uh, I like that. I like the fact that you have that. You can go into the app drawer and you can use that. So you can basically probably use this in any application that you're on, a website, and you can screen record take a screenshot pretty cool all right let's see what else you got here and as you can see you got nightlight on this hotspot data saver so a lot of great features on the blue and one jumping into settings now let me go ahead and share with you some of the features here i'm bringing down the brightness so one thing about the display it does get really bright that's good to see all right so going into about device here you got your different features to choose from like fingerprint security portrait mode 96 megapixel super zoom ai technology new navigation mode and pop up selfie. So you got those options available. Backing up out of there. Next, I'm gonna go into Wi-Fi. So as you can see, this does connect to the five gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is fantastic. Again, this is unlocked for all GSM carriers across the board. Now you got your Bluetooth hotspot and tethering option as well. Bluetooth tethering, good features I'm seeing there more network and settings so VPN so this device does not have NFC so there's no NFC on board the Bolt N1 keep that in mind jumping into display now and then up on top you got the brightness level nightlight option adaptive brightness so your display will just adjust depending on your lighting environment screen color mode now so you can actually switch this up to vivid cool color or you can customize this and you can actually change up you know the display make it a little bit warmer make it a little bit cooler uh, for this video i'm just gonna leave it on standard it actually looks pretty cool like that and then as you can see there you also got the changeable screen lock wallpaper you can change the font size display size and you got cast and printing see what else we got here jumping into sound actually let's go back for a moment there and go into navigation bar so this is actually really cool to see on this device here where you can actually customize the on-screen button switch up the back and recent apps button i love that feature you can hide the navigation bar just by pressing that arrow there and that will hide the navigation bar swipe up will bring it back you can also use the full screen gestures so i'll be going to share with you how this works so you got this little pill to the bottom there and you'll just basically swipe from right 
to the left. Um, you'll just press on it to go back to the home screen. So, you know, another good option that's available. You can also use sliding gestures. So basically this is just gonna be full screen gestures. As you can see, no buttons to the bottom there. And you'll just swipe up from the uh, right to the left-hand side to the center. So it's good that you have those options there. You're just gonna have to play with the different features uh, for the navigation bar and just see the one that works best for you. But I'll leave it on the virtual key for now. All right, let's see what else we got here. So let's go into uh, sound now. So as you can see, you can switch up the media volume, call, ring volume, alarm, and you got all types of additional options available. Sound enhancement, let's go ahead and switch that on. And then also to the bottom there, the camera pop-up sound. So let's check out sci-fi. All right, I like that. Machine, that's cool. And rhythm. So you got those three options to choose from, actually four if you want to just leave it off completely. I'll leave it on sci-fi just for now for this video, but very cool features you got there. All right, let's see what else we got here, and we'll go into intelligent assistance. So you got the flip to silent. You got the three-finger screenshot, which I got to have that enabled. As you can see there, how simple it is to capture a screenshot. Uh, jump to camera and... Um, you also got the lift to wake option to the bottom. All great features that are on the bold in one. And next I'll go into security and location. So you do got the in-display fingerprint sensor available on this device, which is pretty awesome. So this is basically how it's going to look when you register your finger to the in-display fingerprint sensor. So you got to press down multiple times and try to scan different areas of your finger, different locations of it. It takes several attempts, but I basically got it set up. So let's go ahead and test it out now. So as you can see, it does show you where you should place your thumb or fingerprint to the sensor. So let's go ahead and do that again. It unlocks. Let's go ahead and try another time. And just like that, it seems to be working really well, unlocking each and every time with both of my thumbs that I registered. So I don't see any issues with it. It's not super fast, it's not super slow, but it seems to be pretty accurate. Now when it comes to the storage on the Blue End One, you're getting 128 gigabytes of internal storage, which is fantastic. I mean, my S10 Plus that I'm filming this video on only comes out of the box with 64. And again, you also get micro SD card expansion so excellent amount of storage. Now this device does have the July 5th, 2019 security patch as well as Android 9 Pie. So Blue is promising that this device is gonna get the next version of Android as well as two years of security patch updates. Pretty fantastic. And taking a quick look at the camera interface. So again, a dual camera setup, 60 megapixel plus a five megapixel depth sensor camera. You also get the super pixel 96 megapixel zoom option, which I'll definitely have to test out uh, in a future video, how good that actually works. You got a pro mode on this, beauty. So again, you're getting a 60 megapixel AI camera. Basically, it's the Sony IMX 499 with the f1.8 aperture. Get your video option there, HDR, as well as a night mode available. And to the left-hand side, you get your settings option there. AI, you can either have that enabled or disabled. You also get a portrait mode on this. So I'll definitely test that out and share with you how well that works. And then you can also have the flash either on auto, off, or disabled. You also got some additional options there. As you can see, six different ones, uh, filter, panorama, slow motion, intelligence scanning, and pro mode. Jumping into settings here, as you can see, those are the different options you have available. And when it comes to video quality, you can record in 1080p resolution. And let's go ahead and take a look at the front facing camera, 13 megapixel pop-up selfie camera, as you can see, that's pretty cool. I like the fact that it's hidden and it just pops up when you want to just take that selfie. I mean, this is just such an awesome feature that you have packed into a $200, $250 device. I mean, it works well. It's very futuristic looking. It's probably going to produce some decent photos and videos. And overall, I just love the fact that there's no cutout. There's no notch to the display. You even get the drop detection for the pop-up selfie camera, just like on the OnePlus device with its pop-up selfie camera. So, I mean, Blue, you did an excellent job here with this feature. Let me go ahead and share with you guys some photos that I took with the Bold N1.
Now, when it comes to the wireless charging capabilities, it actually seems to be working really well. I mean, as soon as I place the Bold N1 on my wireless charging pad, it just starts charging automatically. So again, another great feature to see on this device, especially for the price tag that you're paying for. Well, that's pretty much it for my unboxing and hands-on video of the Bold N1. Again, I try to give you as much information as possible without these videos going super long. I mean, there's just so much to share and talk about with a new smartphone, especially one like the Bold N1 that brings some very impressive specifications for such an affordable price tag. So definitely stay tuned for my full review. I'm going to use this device for several weeks. I'm going to really test it out and give you guys a good thorough review and exactly what what my thoughts are and experience. Uh, but overall, just first impressions out of the box, just testing it out for a little while. I really like what Bold is doing. I'm looking forward to their future devices. And I think this is going to be a really good option for a lot of people out there. And this just might possibly be the best affordable smartphone of 2019, but we'll definitely wait and see. With that being said, thank you everybody for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful and informative, please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos. This is Paul Tech and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.